This is Mike from Job Progress, and today we're going to be learning part one to the two-part process that is sales automation. So in order to begin, you'll see here we are at our main dashboard. We're going to locate our down-facing arrow in the top right corner and select Settings. Upon clicking Settings, you will want to scroll over to the left-hand side Settings menu and scroll down to the bottom. We're looking for a tab that says Others. You'll notice it is the very last option down at the bottom of our screen, left-hand side. We're going to click in, and our next task will be to locate Sales Automation. So if we scroll our screen down, almost all the way down, we'll locate a tab for Sales Automation. And let's go ahead and enable for our web and our mobile devices. Once we finish that, we're going to hit Save. And then scroll on back over to our Settings menu, locating the Workflow tab. Click into Workflow. And now you'll see the workflow stages that you had previously set up. Upon looking at your workflow stages, you'll see links that say Sales Automation. In order to enable one of these links, you were just going to click in on it. And you'll notice that we have three options to choose from. Enable Tasks, Enable Email, and Enable Mobile Notifications. We're going to choose Enable Email for this video. Check your box, hit Update, and now you're ready to go ahead and create a template. Click Sales Automation Setup in the top right-hand corner and choose Email Templates. Upon clicking in, your screen is going to redirect. And we could once again click the blue button in the top right-hand corner, this time saying Add Template. Click in. And now you can begin to build your email. First, I want to point out a checkbox that says Link to Stage. Let's go ahead and check that and then select our stage that we have Sales Automation turned on for. We're going to click on our contract. And let's just choose our recipient as our customer. So let's just go ahead and fill this out. Now, this is going to be contract. Email subject is going to be thank you. And let's just say that we have a quick email saying thank you for choosing us. Oops. Now, if you were to go ahead and add in an image, you could select on the insert image icon all the way over on your right hand side. Upon clicking this, you can choose browse image and then your C drive would pull up for you. This way you can send a nice formal email with a lot more detail than what I'm putting in our sample. You can go ahead and hit save. And now as you progress your jobs through your workflow stages and move, for example, from your follow-up stage to your contract stage, you will be prompted for your sales automation setup. Upon clicking yes, you'll have access to the email that you have input. You can edit it, view it, or go ahead and send it. This has been part one on sales automation. Thank you. And have a wonderful day.